Welcome back to my channel and on this video we're going to solve radical inequalities just like the, the two examples that you see on your screen. So the first one we have the square root of x minus 7 plus 6 is less or equals to um, 12. So what this inequality is trying to follow is what are the possible values of x that is going to make the right hand side of this equation to be true? To the left hand side of this equation. So the first thing we need to do is that we know that in square root function that the radical of a function, the radical of a square root function cannot be negative number. So it should be greater or equal to zero. So what do I mean we say? The first thing we said x minus seven is greater or equals to zero, not in every square root function. So what do we do when I say x is greater or equals to 7? So we should know that x is greater or equals to 7. Then step 2, what we need to do that is we need to now solve this entire inequality. Okay, so we have the square root of x minus 7 plus 6 is less or equals to 12. So we now have the square root of x minus 7 equals to this, less or equals to 12 minus 6. Right, so now I have square root of x minus 7 is less or equals to 6. So what do we do with square both sides? Square both sides. So now I have x minus 7 is what is less or equals to 36. So now I have x is less or equals to 36 plus sun. Okay? So, and we'll have x this less or it was to what? 40. It should be 40. Sorry. So, now all the possible values so then be that's just let's say the domain. The domain. The domain will be x with all the real number that x that moment we said seven is less or equals to x, okay, and x is less or equals to forty three. So that is how to find the the uh, what are they calling it the domain of this particular expression. So what we mean is that every number that is between seven and 47, 48 are the possible range of values that we insert into this right hand side of the equation, the, the, left, hand, um, the left hand side of this equation, and the right hand side is going to be true. So that is for question one. Now let's look at question two. The same, the same thing, we'll take the radical, which is 2y, was we better or equals to 0? 2y plus 1, sorry. 2y plus 1 is greater or equals to 0. So now I have 2y is greater or equals to negative 1. Then y and 9b will not be greater or equals to negative 1 over 2. Okay, now, so we've done, we've gotten the first values of, um, of y. So we need to uh, solve the second part, which is, we said, 6 minus square root of 2y plus 1 is less than 10. So what do we do? Because we take 6, we only add 6, you subtract 6 to, from both sides and have negative. Square root of 2y plus 1 is less than 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6. So we have negative what? Square roots of 2y plus 1 is less than negative 3. So 3 minus 6 is going to be negative 3. So what do we do? We square and both sides. So we square both sides. So we have negative 2y plus 1 is less than negative 9. Okay? Because we squared both sides. So the next thing we need to do is to have negative 2y minus y is less than negative 9. So of course we add 1 to both sides. We have negative 2y is less than negative 9 plus 1. We have negative 2y is less than of course, negative 8. So like from here, now we have negative 2y is less than negative 8. So what do we do? We now said 
Why? Okay, of course, divide both sides by negative 2, right? negative 2, right? Negative 2, sorry. So this should cancel out. This is not hand Y. Because we divide by negative, your sign is going to change. You might be greater than negative. We might be greater than, sorry, 4. Y is going to be greater than 4. And if Y is going to be greater than 4, so what is the domain of this um, particular expression? I can easily try to squeeze it in here. So I have um, 0, 1. Let me not say 0. So 4, 6. Okay? Then I have 2, negative 2. So here yeah, might be half, because we have negative half here. Here yeah, might be half, which is y is x. Okay? So we can also use s. Then 4 is greater than 4, said. So that means every value from this point is the um, first the domain and range of this particular expression. So when I say y is greater than 4, that is the answer to this particular expression, uh, to this particular being quality. So you can do more examples and follow these steps, and definitely you will get exactly what you are asked to find. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video.